We keep bringing you updates from the world of robotics. It's time to look at an emerging category of robots that has gained significant momentum over the last few years. Take a look. What you see on your screen are cobots. Collaborative robots that are designed to work alongside humans. Many such cobots were on display at the recently concluded robot fair R24 that took place in the Danish city of Odense. You should know that Odense is now considered one of Europe's main robotics hubs with more than 160 companies. But here is an important question. What can these cobots do? They lift, they screw, and they could be headed to a workplace near you. For instance, Impact Robotics has built an interface that is used to connect an array of pneumatic grippers to robotic arms. Traditionally, this is all built into the system. So you have somebody sitting and designing their own grippers, having multiple cables going along the arm and so on. It takes a lot of time. Here, you connect this to the end of the arm of the robot. You connect two grippers, 10 minutes, you can have it up and running. Vine-based FarmDroid has created this hulking solar-powered field robot that seeds and weeds. It uses GPS to mark the position of each plant during seeding, meaning it can then perform row-by-row row weeding. The robot is the only robot in the world that can do both seeding and weeding. Uh, so basically what we start doing is setting up a field with the robot and the robot calculates a grid of where to put each single seed and then it will follow its path and seed everything. When we finish the seeding, we will uh, me mechanically shift the uh, tools and then it will do the uh, mechanical weeding. On a smaller scale, Aarhus-based Heiberg has created this autonomous robot weeder, which uses a burst of warm water to give weeds a thermal shock. So it's a very boring task, right? And, uh, and uh, also, if uh, people like use pesticides today, it's not good for the environmental. Uh, uh, and uh, the weed burner is not good because it's using gas. We are using like hot water, so it's very, uh, very friendly. It's designed for cemeteries, parks and stadiums, freeing up time for the workers to do harder tasks ill-suited to automation. There is more. O Robotics has created this autonomous mobile robot sweeper to keep streets clean. It travels about 4 km per hour. Its makers say it could cover around 30,000 square meters per day. One of the advantages of street sweeping is that it could actually be done during the night time or during the time when there's not so much pedestrians or public around it. Cobots can perform dangerous and repetitive tasks that can otherwise be unsafe or difficult for human workers. These collaborative robots have the potential to increase accuracy and consistency by automating certain processes. 